Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Monique, um, and to the organizers and hosts for this uh, annual General Assembly. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to be back in the Netherlands for, uh, for a couple reasons. Um, one is for the fantastic warm weather that we're having. Um, last week in Ottawa, we had the coldest day in a decade, so negative 43 uh, makes us feel like uh, springtime May weather in Ottawa. Uh, no, the real reason why I'm happy back in the Netherlands is that I'm returning to my, uh, my roots. Um, as an alumnus of Wageningen University, I, uh, I got my formal training uh, and my love for agriculture here in the Netherlands. And so I thought it'd be worth recognizing the, um, the international reach of Dutch agricultural education. So I'm confident we're in good hands for the next few days. Uh, my task here today is to review the, uh, the work of the platform in 2012. And I hope you've um, all been able to see the uh, the added lands um, paper that's in your uh, documents. And I'm, I'm only going to have enough time to quickly summarize and highlight a few of these pieces. Um, but first, sort of where, where have we come from? So coming out of the Berlin General Assembly last year, uh, we, um, the platform members and partners, identified uh, nine thematic topics of, of interest. And this formed the basis of our work for 2012. Now, before I go through each of these topics and what we achieved, I just wanted to make three broad observations. The first is that uh, we took on a very broad agenda, and some may think it was too broad, too ambitious, but we actually achieved um, something in each of these thematic topics. We advanced the work, knowledge sharing, networking, or, in each of these, and I think that's, a, that's an important point, a real success. Uh, the second point is that uh, in each of these groups, we had uh, different members and a different number of members engaged, uh, from a minimum of four sometimes to ten or more members engaged on each of these topics. And again, I think that's a success. Um, and the third observation is that uh, there were a variety of different fora uh, and different media that were used to advance uh, the work in each of these thematic topics. And what this means is that no two of these thematic topics are the same, and that there's no single recipe for how the platform advances its work on a, on a topic. Um, and I think this shows how the platform is responsive to the interests of members, um, and, and seeks to go out and engage in various fora and seek different opportunities. Um, so so what, did, what were the major products this year? Uh, the aid effectiveness and uh, development effectiveness working group uh, continues to be very active, um, uh, currently working on revising the joint donor concept on rural development, and I think we'll hear about this uh, tomorrow. Uh, this is a uh, think piece that presents the opportunities, the drivers, the, um, the principles that guide our work in rural development, and the current effort is about updating the 2006 version to 2013 to reflect some of the new ideas on the landscape. Um, you can imagine issues around private sector, nutrition, uh, resilience, just to name a few. Uh, the Agricultural Research for Development Working Group uh, put out a synthesis paper on uh, donor methods to prioritize research investments, um, uh, laying out a set of options that donors can use to uh, make decisions about their agricultural research portfolio. Uh, on CADUP, the platform continues to support uh, the, uh, provide technical support to the CADUP Development Partners Task Team uh, and engages with the African institutions and helped uh, them launch a, a paper on sustaining CADUP momentum um, that outlines a vision for the next phase of CADUP. And I think it's worth noting that CADUP will be uh, 10 years old next year. And so this is a really good opportunity for donors to, to re-engage with CADUP and really help in delivering the, on the strategy and vision for African agriculture. The Climate Change and Resilience Working Group uh, introduced a new event uh, this year. The, uh, the first ever platform roadshow was hosted by the Swedish International Development Agency in June. Uh, this was a platform dialogue on climate change, looking at different member approaches, and was also uh, an opportunity to hear about the outcomes of the Commission on Sustainable Agriculture and Climate Change. Now, a unique feature of the platform is how uh, it can sometimes bring together some different uh, work streams. Uh, and if there's a major international event that creates critical mass, uh, this can warrant a discussion on the synergies between different thematic topics. Uh, for example, this year in October in Uruguay, there was the Global Conference on Agricultural Research for Development. 
And uh, three thematic topics, the gender uh, and youth group, the nutrition and agriculture group, and the agricultural research group came together and organized a side event looking at donor approaches and research priorities for integrating gender and nutrition into agricultural development. And I think this is an excellent example of how the platform uh, facilitates that cross-pollination amongst uh, different thematic topics where otherwise we'd remain in our, our separate silos. Uh, another kind of unique feature, uh, newish feature of the platform has been the use of uh, virtual briefings and uh, online interviews. And these have been a, a, a very useful tool to provide um, uh, detailed information on specific initiatives. And a lot of the groups have used this, but in particular the Livestock and Pastoralism Working Group and the uh, Post Harvest Losses Group use this tool to, to disseminate information on, on various initiatives in their topics. Um, and finally, the, uh, the private sector group continues to be very active. Um, at the beginning of the year, they launched the uh, third platform knowledge piece on uh, the role of the private sector in rural development and agriculture. And I think simply having the, uh, the, the theme of this annual General Assembly on you know, markets uh, shows the continued interest by members uh, on this thematic topic. Um, now, I wanted to take a quick minute to talk about uh, how we do our work. Um, I think much credit goes to the platform secretariat and uh, Monique, uh, Monica and her team um, for pushing the boundaries on how we communicate um, and how we share knowledge with each other and with the broader development community. I think our capacity for networking and outreach is getting a lot better. Um, and I just wanted to highlight a few of the statistics. Um, you know, the platform has put together 11 virtual briefings and 30 online interviews in 2012. And this attracted over 55,000 views. Um, the platform event calendar, a uh, very useful tool, has over uh, 200 entries. And it's something I use quite often. And I realize that I'm one of over 2,000 unique visitors to use the calendar. Um, and overall, the website has attracted uh, 18,000 unique visitors. So, um, and many of these are repeat visitors. So the, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, the work of the platform is attracting interest. Uh, and the way we're structuring the information and delivering and communicating that information is appealing to, uh, to our, our membership and to our partners. Um, now I want to quickly just reflect on, on the platform. Um, for CEDA, uh, the platform continues to be a very useful uh, mechanism uh, for us to be uh, informed about what's going on in the world, informed about other donor approaches, um, and on specific topics. Uh, the website for me, for example, is, is my initial go-to when I need a quick insight on a, a specific initiative or, or a thematic topic. Um, but perhaps one of the most valuable benefits has been uh, the contacts that I've made with all of you. And this suggests that the, the networking opportunities that the platform facilitates is perhaps one of its greatest benefits. Um, looking forward, I think the, the platform is in an excellent position. Um, there is no doubt in my mind that there's a, a changing dynamic in, uh, in, in agriculture and rural development, and Monique alluded to a lot of that in her introduction. I think the platform can continue building on its, its strategic and its competitive advantage around knowledge sharing and networking and uh, in communication, um, and, and really address some of those priority issues that have, have, have arisen. Um, and one of the, the outcomes of this increased attention has been um, there's a lot more priority issues on the table. We now talk about rural development, agriculture, food security, climate change, nutrition. Uh, it's becoming quite a mouthful and a, quite a, a set of issues to manage. Um, and, and on the horizon, you can, you can also look at, um, I think there's consensus on some of the emerging issues around uh, deepening and strengthening partnerships, innovation, uh, the role of new development finance. And I think the platform can really uh, be useful here in, in, in reaching out and forging partnerships with, with uh, new development actors, in particular the private sector. Uh, on innovation, I think the platform is ideally placed, not only in uh, uh, introducing innovative tools, um, and I think as we advance in this digital age, we'll see a lot more of these virtual briefings and online interviews and new variations, but it can also help us in innovation in our, in our own work and help us uh, share evidence-based assessments of our, our work, uh, allow us to communicate um, how we have uh, field tested these initiatives, and also allow us to uh, discuss how we can scale up this work together. Um, 
I think I'll stop there. I mean, to conclude, uh, the, the, this year's theme for the General Assembly is very relevant um, to the, the current development dialogue and political context that we're in. And uh, I'd just like to encourage all of you to, to participate actively and uh, launch a new set of ideas in 2013. And um, perhaps if I'm invited back next year, I can come back and tell you what a great job we did in 2013. Mm -hmm. So thank you, and uh, have a good conference.